we have arrived at our future slash current homestead and it was quite an adventure to get here to be very honest it was nuts um, all kinds of crazy stuff happening uh, we accidentally not accidentally we ran out of time which meant that stuff is still up north that I have to go get in a couple of weeks. Uh, not looking forward to doing that uh, in one weekend because it's uh, quite a bit of a drive. But uh, one of the worst things about this move is that the sale of our house fell through. And that's just devastating because, I mean, if you can imagine, we weren't planning on having an extra, that house payment in you know a couple more days that's going to come out and, you know, we were hoping to be able to allocate money towards getting some farm equipment that we really desperately need. We need a barn and we need a tractor and it's not going to happen. And so we're trying to figure out, you know, what do we do now when we know that funds are going to be strained until the house sells? And then as happens, sometimes when you change you know situations right um not having paychecks that you expect to have it's just really super stressful uh and i'm having a little bit of a hard time managing that that stress so right now it's it's lovely because i finally got mason to go to sleep and i can sit on my front porch and listen to the birds can you hear them Ugh. It's such a beautiful day. And the nights here, I can't even tell you. The way it smells. It Okay, here's something else. This might seem so trivial and so stupid for me to say on YouTube, but my hair is so soft. I'm not going to do the whole hair flippy thingy and running my fingers through it, but it this does not happen it did not happen up north um my hair i like all i have to do is get out of the shower and brush it like it's nuts i would have to like put stuff in my hair up north to be able to get a brush through it and here i don't and so george says it's the mountain water you know it's so pure and it's not treated you know with chemicals and stuff like the water is treated up north so that's just a, a really great thing I do have my chicken coop. Uh, I I will have little videos of, of the chicken coop being loaded into the tree. My first chicken coop. I forget what this dude's name is that built it. But I'm super excited. Very happy George has a trailer to be able to lift that off this, uh, not a trailer, tractor. Lift it off this trailer. Look at that baby. And so we're trying to figure out now how we go about making a little lot for them um, for something for the coop to sit on and then an enclosure. And I would like to get that done in the next couple of weeks because I have people I can get some hens from, some local folks who'd be willing to teach me a thing or two about having my first chickens. I don't know if it's in the cards to be able to get the goats and the sheep just because of the cost of fencing. Uh, we have to figure all of this out. And so it's a little disappointing not to have things work out the way that we really wanted them to work out. But hopefully with positive thinking and you know, putting it out there that that house up north will sell and it will be a good thing and all of that, everything will happen within due time, right? So is Hank. Hank is loving it. I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you can see Hank. Loving it. Week one, reflections on the homestead. So we've been here a week and the first couple of days were definitely super frustrating and the movers were supposed to be here. I got a call that they were showing up on Thursday <clears throat> and nobody came all day on Thursday only to find out that that was some kind of mistake and 
they're still not here. So that means I'm without some things that I would normally want to have access to. So that's been a little frustrating. I did plant some things because it's just so hard for me not to be growing things in the summertime. So you'll see what I have planted in grow bags and also in my little herb garden that I started last year here. person who made my chicken coop also built me a really awesome storage cabinet that is in our bathroom. Our bath Brian did manage to finish the wa um, washer installation and so yesterday was the first time we got to wash clothes, although the washer is so tiny compared to what we are used to. Uh, it's going to be an interesting feat, I think, to get laundry done here because we'll have to do it very regularly. And using the washer sort of empties the pressure tank that Brian built. Uh, be before we added all of this stuff, this house did not have any hot water and definitely not, not a pressure tank or anything like that. So we've added all those things uh, in previous years. And so we still need to get the dryer installed. So we've been sending clothes up to George's house and I did try drying clothes on the line after hand washing them in the bathtub. I will never do that again. I don't know how people did it back in the day. I'm just like spoiled, I guess, because hand washing clothes just sucks. I, I hated every second of it and because it's so humid here they didn't dry and it was so awful that they didn't dry uh, I might try again it's it's just super hot this week and uh, I may try again with a load just drying it outside instead of sending it to George's but the clothesline which is a new thing this week also it, it's great, but it's not very long, so I don't have a ton of room for clothes. Well, I am a country girl now. I got me a clothesline. It's not done yet. It's almost done. But until we get the washer and dryer installed, I have to do laundry. And this is my little line coming out of the back porch right there. Brian installed it the past couple of days. I'm excited. Well, I'm actually I'm not that excited to use it, to be perfectly honest. Washing, cl washing clothes by hand is uh, not something I'm enthusiastic about. Okay, folks, here we go. The last bit of the clothesline is done. Yay! Now time to wash clothes and try it out. It moves pretty fast. All right. Another thing is that this house is super difficult to keep cool. Um, also spoiled in that respect. Mason James, get down from the hill. Things that I didn't think I would ever say, such as Mason, get out of the chicken coop. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will say that again, but this is the first time I've said it because he thinks the chicken coop right now is super fun. It's It's, it's really hot here and we have three floor units that just kind of go into the window and it's very difficult to keep the house cool, especially in the kitchen. It's so hot. Um, that is going to take something getting used to. I wish we had the financial means of putting central air and central heat into this house, but that is not in the cards, especially because the house up north still hasn't sold. Uh, I'm crossing my fingers. There are two showings today. There have been several showings. Uh, no feedback yet on any of them, but um, hoping like mad. So uh, this week, uh, Brian's gone for three days this week. 
Uh, so I don't know how much we're going to end up getting accomplished, but we did plan out the chicken run. We know how we're going to make the chicken run. And George might help me get a few things set and ready for that. We know where it's going to be. And I'm very enthusiastic. Mason says, oh no. I'm very enthusiastic about uh, the next couple of weeks. So thank you for watching. And I hope we have more videos to show you of some cool things that um, we are able to do. Oh, I forgot. I did go to Rural King. That is a new thing. I really enjoyed my trip to Rural King. I saw some beautiful scenery. I'm going to share some clips of that for you of, of this area. George Mason and I are on our way to but we were on our way to Rural King. We're yeah. almost there. And uh, I have seen scenery that is absolutely breathtaking. And so there's a scenic overlook here. And I want to show it to you just because it is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. And I can't believe I live here at all. Look at that. I wish we didn't have sounds of cars in the background, but it's just so stunning. It might be the middle of nowhere and, you know, uncivilized, I guess, because of, of how very few people there are uh, out here. But to me, it's, it's almost perfect like that.